Uh, I went to visit uh, one a few weeks ago in Florida. It's uh, Aura. Um, yeah. So we gave them, um, we wrote an article about that. I was so excited about, um, so I was walking down these aisles. I mean, if you've ever been, go to Aura, it's, an, it's a wonderful experience. It is really impressive to see that many clownfish in one single location. And you're walking through all these rows and rows of broodstock. And um, Dustin is the president. He was saying, oh, you need to come and see this. And, and this is Mrs. TMC and Mr. TMC. I said, oh, what do you mean? And it's a pair. It's um, a pair of snowflakes they've got in in um, in um, it breeding. It's bre It's been there since 2007, and apparently, what he, what he was saying, it's the it's the original pair that came from TMC. So, what do you mean the original pair? Well, you were the only ones, to my knowledge, who have been able to make a snowflake out of a regular Solaris and actually create a snowflake. He said, "Okay, well, I didn't know that." Um, <laughs> We've tried and we can't, Brian. It, it hasn't happened here yet, at least. Uh, so this single pair is responsible for all the different color variations of Ocellaris. In terms of, you know, the, all the designer clowns that come from yeah, Ocellaris? Yeah. So that single pair is the great grand grand grandfather of all that are, exist of, have come out of Aura in the last, you know, 15 years. That's more than one million fish that came out of that one single pair. It, it is quite a remarkable story and um i wrote a little thing um that we set, put on our website because it was it was one of those incredible stories that the hobby has um it was it was quite interesting to see so anyway see. But, but but that came yeah. from that period of time when we closed right. the so and, and so you you so and you, you basically invented uh, if that's the, well, it's not the right word, but you invented uh, no. Snowflake. You, you 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 were the first people. So Snowflakes, from what I, I wasn't in TMC at the time, but but mm -hmm. Snowflake, from what I understand, was uh, something happened in one of the tanks. We we uh, in one of the breeding tanks, and they started seeing these co weird colored animals. And at the time, in the the market in the UK was really finicky with the. It had to be a perfect clownfish. It had to be a perfect clownfish, but but those ones had. Um, you know, we kept them because they, they were slightly different color. It was just very strange uh, coloration. So uh, we kept a group of them. And then they in, ended up becoming, um, you know, uh, broodstock. They bred in TMC for about two years. And then they were sent to to Aura um, through, through Quality Marine, so in, in the US. Um, and they've been there since since then, breeding Cause... regularly every month, you know, every <laughs> Because clown, uh, clownfish live for, for years. So my understanding is they can live for 20 plus years. Yeah, is that, sure. that right? Yeah. Yeah. There, there's definitely lots of easily. We, we, we used to have, you know, um, a brood stock for many, many years in, in okay. our facility. So. Actually, for, for those of you who don't know what a, a snowflake clownfish, is that uh, what you would describe as a snowflake? Yeah. 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 There we go. So, uh, and actually this is, this is not somewhere I, I thought we were going to we'd go actually, but so how do you this this it was almost an accident that you ended up with with snake See, yeah, the, 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 these are accidents, and I mean then obviously after that it it picked up the you know the the interest in these sort of different clownfish um, they're not called designer clownfish picked up, mm. and it became a big trend. I mean um, then obviously at Aura because they again they're so focused in 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 doing clownfish they're really good at it uh they they started making all these different variants and being followed by many hatcheries around the world who started you know uh, dominoes and there's there's i mean i i, I lose track of all the names um, um if, if, every time i have to do a stock list that you go god i mean the amount of na different names you now call it's just an ocellaris but just because of yeah. the color um or a percolate but just because of the color it, it just becomes very very rare you know, very distinct.